Hey guys, Pure here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video today. We're back on Clash of Clans and we do actually have a brand new season. So as you can see on the screen right now, there is this brand new Grand Warden skin. It looks pretty cool. There are some YouTubers who've already made videos on it like Beaker's Lab for example. I believe Godson made one and some others too. But yeah, pretty cool. It does look awesome. I will actually get it in the end so I'll be able to showcase it once I do receive it myself. But yeah, we do have all the loot from last season. 39 million gold. 39 million elixir and a ton of other resources 524,000 dark and then of course a few gems so yeah everything's looking pretty cool i'll just go ahead and take a quick screenshot of this right now and then we'll be able to go ahead and spend the loot and we'll get some upgrades in place so let's take a quick look at the season pass right now so let's see what you actually receive so standard stuff towards the beginning some books pretty early on which is nice a shovel again which is pretty decent wall rings more upgrades as per usual then we just keep going through some runes and then one hero book this time so yeah it's not too bad actually it's not too bad I will of course pick that one up eventually I'll buy it in a few moments however let's just quickly see what else is available right now and then we'll quickly spend what loot we can do and we'll be able to go from there all right guys so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to upgrade my Grand Warden, we're going to upgrade the Warden as many times as possible with the gems I do have. So let's start that right now. Three, two, one, boom. And then we'll gem it. We'll do the same again here. Boom, there we go. How much do we need now? 14,500. I can't even hold that much. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, so that ran out a lot quicker than I actually expected. So in this case here, what I'll do is the Royal Champion. Oh, the reason it took... Oh, no, I forgot. So pretty much the last time I had a 20% discount on all my upgrades. Now that's actually gone. Because with the pass, of course, you get the reduction in building costs. So, yeah, that's kind of an L, actually. But let's see. Let's have a look. I don't know. I'll figure it out soon. So what I'm going to do is I'll just upgrade the King twice as well. Hopefully twice. And then I know I've got a book of heroes, but yeah, we need 6,000 more. Are you kidding me right now? And then with this, I believe I've got a book of everything, hopefully. Yeah, I do. So I have a book of everything. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to upgrade this. And then I'm just going to use this. There we go. Level 165 as well. Pretty cool. And now what I'll do next is I'll just upgrade some walls with the remaining gold i've got and that will be good enough for now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a quick cut don't go anywhere and then i'll be back once we have the pass and we'll figure out what we're going to do with the rest of the loot i'll see you in a moment all right guys so we're back it's like two or three days ahead in the future right now so i just haven't really been playing the game often but yeah i have my storages and everything else maxed out i do need to go ahead and purchase the gold pass right now i did actually get attacked shortly before recording this video or just a segment right here because as you can see my hair is knocked out but Either way, I do have max resources pretty much. I do have everything. I've not really attacked in a while, as you can see right there. Two days, 14 hours it goes back to. So we will do some attacks today. And then I can utilize my level 75 Archer Queen. And when I upgrade my heroes today as well, we can look into that at the same time. So pretty cool. Gold Pass, I've already got a few tiers. I'm at like just below 200 points right now. I think I'm on like tier 4. So we do have some progress to make. I am going to max the pass out, but I just need to go ahead and buy it first. I'll see you in a moment. Alright guys, so here we go, we're back, we have actually gone ahead and got the pass right now, as you can see on the screen, gold pass received, so that is pretty cool. Of course, if you're not really that active, or if you're not like going to constantly boost your barracks with gems, or trading potions, etc, or if you just are free to play, for example, of course the gold pass is worth getting, but it's not really worth gemming. So the only reason I gem it is because I literally attack so often, by the time, like, Normally, without the pass, you can do five attacks. I'd be able to do six attacks, and I just am farming a lot, so I thought it's worthwhile to gem it. So, and I get a resource discount as well, which helps with my wall upgrades. And I, if I'm going to be farming a lot, it makes sense to get it. So we'll just start gemming everything right now. Of course, I'm already on to tier five with gems. We get some more wall rings right there, hero potions, power potions. We get some research potions. We get more trading like boosts, bigger season bank right there. More passive boosts as well, which is so good. They're the best part of the pass, in my opinion, as well as the skin, of course. The skin is great. We've actually got, like, a 
a Zeus skin, it looks like, for the Grand Warden. I definitely will be using that, but I'll be able to put it on, of course, once I do get to the upgrading part in a moment. But yeah, so there we go. Max is here right now. And now we've just unlocked the Gladiator Warden skin. Take a quick screenshot right there, as per usual. And now we'll just need to go ahead and start claiming everything. So, one donation gems, that's pretty cool. Just pick up everything as we do go along and get the build boost right there. We've already got the power potion, so I don't actually need that one right now. Training potion, they're the best. So book of spells, I actually have two of those. You'll be seeing what I'm going to do with them in a future video. I do want to max out my warden though before I get to that video. So once my warden's maxed, I'll be using those two book of spells and you'll be seeing what I'm able to do with those once I, of course, max my warden up first. So just going through everything right now still. We pick, we're about to pick up some more war rings. There we go, six more. So that's pretty cool. Research boost, training boost again. That's the best one by far. The training boost is so good. Well, the, all the 20% boosts are so good, actually, should I say. They are the best, in my opinion. But we pick up some runes, ru a rune of gold, and rude, uh, sorry, a rune of elixir for builder base. It looks like I've already got the elixir for the the rune of elixir for the builder base so i'm not able to pick that one up we've also got a book of heroes as well which is pretty cool and yeah we get the skin right there i'm just going to fill the storages just to make it look like somewhat cool i guess <laughs> i don't really know don't even ask but yeah so what i'm going to do in a moment is i will upgrade all my heroes well my grand warden and my king i do actually need to upgrade my storages as you can see i still have like 10 for 12 storages i only go to 14 mil so we do need to look into them sometime soon, of course, now with the discount, it goes down to 216,000. Just quickly checking what magic items I've got. I've got, as you can see, yeah, the two books right there for the hero books, uh, sorry, the spell books. I wish I had a rune of elixir, and then that would mean I'd be able to get, like, a, an additional upgrade on the Grand Warden. But either way, I am going to go ahead and start upgrading my heroes right now. Air defense is finishing, like, five days. So there's no point in, like, finishing them early. So my gold would more, more like, pretty much just go on to wars, more than likely. That's what I, I'd expect. So, yeah, just going to go ahead and change base right now. And then once I'm ready, we will upgrade the heroes. And I'll see you in a moment once we're all set up. Alright guys, so I'm back. We are able to upgrade the heroes right now. So, firstly what we'll do is we will actually amend, well, we'll change the skin to the Gladiator Warden skin. Boom, there we go. That looks pretty cool. It's gonna take a quick picture right there. So yeah, pretty cool. That'll probably be in the thumbnail. But yeah, this is the hero we're going to be focusing on the most today. Well, actually, that's the life. The Warden can only get one levels. The King can actually pick up two. So what I'm going to do is we'll start the upgrades any moment now. So three, two, one, boom, there we go. So the upgrades are now in place. Of course, they do take the same amount of time, I believe. Actually, the king takes less. So what I'm going to do is I will use the Book of Heroes onto the Grand Warden. Boom, there we go. Because if I, I'm sure I said it in a video the other day that I will actually be using the Book of Heroes on the Warden once I get him to like level 46 onwards, because that's when it goes to six days, nine hours. But with the king, I believe that starts at level 70. So, pretty cool. So what I'll do next is I will, of course, use the upgrade on the king again. This time, I'm going to use gems. Because why not? And then what we'll do next is we will check where my lab is. Where's the lab at? Lab, where are you? Here we go. So here's the lab right here. We do have some dark elixir. I can actually upgrade the ice golem. I don't know if the ice golem is that good. But I do need like headhunters that I do need yet each still. So we just have to see how it goes. But either way, hay spell. Okay, I need some more darts. So 90 yeah, I've got 84k. I don't really want to use the rune, but I'm basically wasting 80k otherwise, so I don't know. I'll see what I can do quickly. Alright guys, so change your plan. What I'm going to do is instead of getting the king to 69 now, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to farm enough resources to get the king to level 70, well 69 sorry, and then I'll gem the king to 69, and then once he's at level 69, of course my Dark Elixir will be empty, and then that's when I'll use the Dark Elixir rune, and we'll get him to level 70 instead. So I'm going to do that, I'm going to take a quick cut, of course it will take me like a few hours to farm all the Dark Elixir, so once of course I'm at the amount I need, I need about, how much do I need, 116,000 or something? Okay, 140,000, my math is completely off, but either way, it's fine. I'm terrible at maths at the moment, but yeah. What we're going to do is I'm going to start farming right now. Don't go anywhere. I'll see you guys in a moment. I might even do some live raids as we're nearing to the end, and then we'll just upgrade the king to 69 and 70 at the same time. So I'll see you in a moment. 
So we're about three hours further down the line now. We're pretty much nearly at the elixir, the dark elixir value I need. I believe I need 216. I'm on 203, so hope uh, 224. Wow. So I need about 19, uh, 21,000, I think. Yeah, about 21,000 to go. So hopefully in three w raids, I should be able to get that. Fingers crossed. So I'm just going to keep farming now. Once I do find the bases from here, what I'm actually going to do is my queen's down for some reason. So I'm just going to snipe this whilst I can. At li literally this stage, I'm just going to get whatever I can take. And I did not mean to deploy the archer right there. So that's now just, just actually messed my entire army up. So yeah, pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. So we're just training her back in right now. Is that fine? Yeah, so the archer's back. That's good because the giants were training first. The archer queen's back up in two minutes. I'm just going to keep looking now. Of course, it would be better if I had my queen, but literally we've just found this base right here. So I'm just going to attack whatever we can get right now. And then pretty much I'm not going to use my heroes if I don't have to. I have lightning spells as well if I do need to use them. But I'm literally just focusing in on the dark elixir right now. We're pretty much maxed resources as well. So I'm actually going to upgrade more walls and finally upgrade my... Upgrade my Grand Warden. I literally just froze. I couldn't think what I was trying to say. But yeah, I'm going to upgrade the Grand Warden as well. My, I want to win just to try and get the additional loot bonus. So we can try and get this done quicker. So I just use the abilities of the, the heroes just to take everything out. And that's what we did successfully. So 208,000 pretty much. Let's quickly check the clan castle. I did claim most of the loot. Actually, I've got 4k in there. So that just helped a lot as well. So what we're going to quickly do is I am max resources. I'm just going to quickly change back to this base right here. We will go ahead and upgrade the warden one more time and we'll get him to level 47. So it's going to end the boost, that's absolutely fine. Boom, the warden's now done. And then I will just go ahead, use the book of heroes right here. And that's now a level 47 warden. So I'll quickly change back to the original base. We will just, of course, upgrade some more wars. I have finished this like section right here, this compartment. So what I'm going to start doing next is we'll go around here. So there we go, so we've upgraded some pieces of walls, I'm just going to use these wall rings as well. I, would use, I wouldn't really use them in the builder base, because I don't really play the builder base too often to be honest, but yeah, everything's looking alright. We've got a level 47 warden right now, we'll see how he does, and we'll look for another raid. I'll see you in a moment. Alright guys, so I'm literally finding bases like this all the time, but to be honest, all I really want is the Dark Elixir. All the like Expos and Infernos are active, so I'm literally just going to drop my Queen and take what I can from this, and then I'll probably just leave, because the other drawers are upgraded anyway. I know there's some gold still on the table, but honestly, it's fine, because there's always going to be the next raid. But yeah, I'm just still continuing to look now. If I can find a base that I'll attack, of course I'll show it, but I'm literally just going to Lightning as well, Dark Drills. If I can get away with it, because if there's loads of darks taking them, of course I'm going to take it. So, the plan of attack here is I'm just going to use the queen again at the bottom. So the queen's going to take this dark elixir storage out right here. That's great for us. So, royal cloak right there. Then I'll just go over here with this and this. And then we'll just go with this as well, just trying to eliminate everything as quickly as possible. And then we'll surrender. So 3.4k dark, almost 3.5k. And we literally lost nothing. All our heroes are ready again. The army didn't even get used. So that's pretty much what I'm just doing at the moment. And I'm having a lot of success with it. So I usually just do this in between raids. Of course, it's kind of sad when you see like a million of each and you've not even got an army for it. But that's the price you have to pay in order to try and get Dark Elixir. So I'm just going to lightning spell this base here, I think. With tier 1, 2, 3. I do need to upgrade my lightning spells. That would be quite helpful. Then I'm just going to do the same again down here. And then what I'll do over on this side is I'll just go in for an attack. We do of course have the heroes, so I can just use all of these. We'll go with this, Royal, Clo uh, Royal Champion ability, use the Queen right there. Hopefully the Queen goes down. Queen, please. Queen, are you serious? No? Okay, the archers have locked onto it, so if we take some hero damage, honestly it's fine. So yeah, they've now locked onto it, good, we'll take that out right there, and then I'll just surrender. 4.6k again, not bad at all. So what I'll do here is I will just look for one more raid, hopefully I can find one quickly, and then if I find the perfect base, of course I'll go for it. However, if I just find like a lightning, like a base I can zap spell, I'll pretty much just do that again. So, looks like this one I'm just going to zap, I'll just go 1, 2, and 3, and that's good enough for me. i just do the same here with that one, and then that's going to be it, so... It's fine. 
2k Dark again, really easy. I'm just honestly trading Elixir for the Dark Elixir at this stage. So yeah, I'm going to pretty much end it here. We'll go ahead and do the upgrade on the heroes right now. And that'll be pretty cool. So we've got the amount of Dark Elixir we need. So 2, 000, uh, sorry, 224,000. We'll just go ahead and start that right now. Complete that right away. And then of course we'll go over to the Dark Elixir storage. Fill it in. Well, fill it up, sorry. And then we'll put our ping from level 69 to level 70. So I'll just take a picture. Not really the best picture, but it's fine. Actually, we'll wait a moment. Yeah, there we go. So I'll just take that picture right there. That's okay. So we'll just go ahead and start the upgrade. Boom. And then we'll just go ahead and complete it as well. And boom, the king's now level 70. So we're making good progress today. Warden is now 47. King is now 70. The queen's obviously maxed. And then the royal champion sadly left at level 5. But... Her day, her time will come, so don't worry. So yeah, I'm just pretty much going to end it here, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. We've made loads of progress today. Well, in this video on the, the base in general. All of these walls are now done. The heroes have been upgraded significantly. And we are now starting this little compartment over here. So that's pretty much it for today. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And apart from that, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.